Yes, yes, yes. We are here tonight. Thank y'all for being here with another episode of The Regular Cat Convo. I am your host, Sasha Rock, a.k.a. The Regular Cat. We got a special night tonight, as we always do. Every night is a special night. Thank y'all for being here with me. You know, I see everybody's coming in now. Gov Talk, salute, bro. I got to tap back in with you, my G, for sure. You know, tonight... We got one of the illest MCs to ever spit on a mic, to ever do this, in my opinion, and that's for sure. My man Shah Stemala, as I see everybody coming in for the love of hip hop, thanks for joining. Salute. I checked you out last night. You had the interview with my bro Scott. No doubt. What's up, cuz? Thanks for being here. You know? Check it. Tonight is gonna be a dope night, everybody. You listen to my man Shah Stemala right here. You know what I'm saying? Wait for my guy to come in. But y'all know how I do until then. We bless y'all with some of his music. Hope everybody's enjoying their week. You know? Listen, we're gonna have some fun tonight. Shy, salute, bro. Mr. Punctual. This is no no joke. You remember this one, Shy? Ah. Uh. My bro Juan, what's up? Thanks for joining us. We about to have some fun with one of my favorite MCs. You probably heard me playing them for sure. I'm trying to pick my sprint bill. Huh. Yo, Shy, anytime you ready, bro, let's tap in, man. Actually, I got it to you. Yes, we wait for my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, everybody. <laughs> we turn it down. Listen. Yo. Thank you for joining me tonight, brother. Man, Everything thanks for having that's me. here. Listen. <laughs> I'm I'm shaking. I'm dead excited about this, bro. Thank you. You don't understand how important this is to me personally. Man. For everybody. There's nothing. There's nothing. Listen. Anybody that rocks with me, if you've been rocking with me since 2007, 2008, you done heard me playing Shots to the Line in every way, shape, or form, every album that has dropped, everything. And to have you here with me tonight, bro, I appreciate you so much, man. DJ nah, and I man. both, we've been looking forward to this. That's my man. Yo, you hooked me up with DJ, he done saved my life, man. <laughs> Listen, he's done uh, it for both of us, bro. That's real yeah. talk. He, does, he loves this, man, you know? Man, Word. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it for real. Man, I love Listen. it. Listen. Yeah. It's, it's, so, first of all, everyone, Shah Stimuli, BKMC, you know what I'm saying? Not just an MC, and we're going to get into that. And that's the beautiful thing about this, you know? Right. So, first for me as a fan, and, you know, we got to get into the MC in part, man, if you don't mind, bro. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. I, I was delaying because I got so much going on. I was like, man, I just want to talk about other stuff, but I'm I'm down for whatever. Like I'm I'm definitely coming back. So you know yeah, that's man. that's the thing. And that's <laughs> listen, we already yeah. talked about that. This is a part one of, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Nah, so shot at MC, like I said, for me, I know your history, man, but if you wanna just get into like tell everybody how you came up in the game like from the beginning and you know what got you inspired to do this here? Man, um, I mean, I was a little kid, man, just just loving music. Just, um, you know, my brother put me on to, to hip-hop when I was a Michael Jackson fan and turned me out, man. I was like 10 years old, like, loving it, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, my brother, Lord Digger, you know, yes, yes. Over with Master Ace Incorporated, did a lot yeah. of stuff on Big's album, Big's first album. Um, so you know, I was around for for a lot of that stuff, man. I was I was fortunate enough to be the cool kid that was to come to the studio. So you know, right. when I when I met Ace, you know, real young, um, you know, I'd be at the video shoots. I'm at the Symphony Two video shoot. I'm with Craig G. You know, they used to come to the barbecues at the house. Like I was just a kid, just a part of it all, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Really, really, really influenced by um, you know hip hop and what was going on. So I wanted to be a part of it. So mm -hmm. you know, I was young, writing my little raps. You know what I'm saying? Being around in the studio when Big was picking out joints for the for the for the first album. You know, my brother did three joints on there, uh, with Witch Doctor, rest in peace, the Witch Doctor. 
Um, you know, that, that was my start, man. That was my start. You know, Ace Ace put me on a couple of joints when I was like 13. Like, he don't even remember. He he picked me up from middle school one day to be on um, a joint called Hell Up in Harlem. And I was like, yo, um, you remember picking me up from eighth grade? Like, he was like, nah. I, I was like, yo, I was so excited that day. Like, because he came a little early. I had to tell my teacher, yo, I got I to gotta bounce. I got to go to the studio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Picking me up. I think he had like a white Bronco or something. Um, but it was just exciting, man. You know, right. I was doing a little ad libs on joints and then, you know, started writing, getting a little little better at it. You know, went to college, did the college thing. Um, once I got out, I went I went full time, I went hard at it, you know what I mean? Word. It's yeah. dope because your upbringing, I probably seen you in them videos because you gotta remember like Master Day Inc. I was crazy into like yeah. my man my cousin would tell you, you come to my house. You hear Saturday Night Live playing a day. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lord Digger, I remember he, um, he was like, person crazy, dirty yeah. ass mouth. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 so. yeah. Shout out to Link, shout out to my wife on the second. So in the beginning of that joint, you hear a little kid going, DJ Premier. That's me. Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Look at that. Full circle, full circle, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> shout out to everybody joining the chat. Yeah. Your wife, thank you for letting me have a few moments of shots time. I appreciate that. <laughs> You know what right. I mean? Everybody's <laughs> checking in, you know. Yeah. Now, now, Shy, like, not to fast forward, but um, you you start, you you in the studio, you hearing a lot of greatness, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, your, your style, I, I'm sure it probably took some different changes and stuff, you know. So do you remember it's the first time you got confident in laying down tracks? Um, you know what? When I was a, when I was young, my brother took me to the studio, and I I did like a couple of joints by myself, right? Um, and they were they were terrible, so <laughs> I, <laughs> they were terrible. And then I got on a joint with him when I was in college. Um, okay. Yeah, and, and it it wasn't bad. It was it wasn't too bad, but it was when I got to Delaware State, shout out to Delaware right. State HBCUs, um, because I was in junior college in Iowa at first. Mm -hmm. Got to Dell State, started interning at Rockefeller. Um, okay. And we had this building with that. My boy had a radio show. So we would, um, he would do his radio show. He would finish. We would stay in the building and use the machines to record. So it was a rolling 360. Okay. And on those machines, you couldn't, it was no punching in anything like that, right? So we had to go right from the recording to the tape. And if we did songs together, we had to do one tape. So that's how I kind mm. of learned to record. Um, I used to just do songs straight through. And I, I've always recorded like that. So that was like the mm. first time, you know, we would record songs, then we go back to the room and we play them. First it's just us two, then we start playing it for more people and then, you know, get more reaction. And then it was like, all right, we, we got something, got something, you know. We had a little buzz <laughs> on campus and it, it reached all the way back to Rockefeller, which is crazy because my, oh. man, my man was from the Bronx. He let his man Ray Ray hear it. I go up to Rockefeller one day, they're like, yo, with the music. Like you talk about, <laughs> like yo, we heard. Yeah, it. I'm, I'm here to work, bro. Yeah, yeah, we heard the word. Like it was, it was, spread, it was spreading, man. Keep the life in the building. Yeah, it was. Yeah, one take shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, yeah. that's where that started. Cause I, I just, I got into the mode of making it feel like a performance. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, want to ask you about that because listen, one thing I listen to. And this is me being a love, love and student of this game is ref control, and I can hear like I know I don't hear punch ins with you. You know what yeah, I mean? I like, I can hear when you are, like, you know, if you if I hear you taking a breath on a song, it's because you meant to do it that way. Totally, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> me totally. as a listener, I, I peeped that. I'm like, nah. You know, like, once again, we talk about, and we'll probably get to that later, but that, your freestyles, bro, I'd be blowing them out the water, too, you know? But, yeah. um, you know, like, so when you said you like, okay, I got something here with this, and you went, and when Def Jam heard it, um, did they ask you to, to uh, were they looking to get more music out of you to sign you then? Nah, I was, I was still in college. It was like, it wasn't anybody who had signing power. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it, it, for me to go to Jay uh, at that level, or Jay or Dame, I would have had to fit the times. And I didn't fit the times. I was, um, I was still in school, so I hadn't found myself. Um, mm -hmm. I was still rapping about, you know, things around me. Um, or you know, at that time, I probably would have been more of a, a raucous type artist. I think I was, yes. I was in that lane. So it, it took okay. me it took me a little bit more time to kind of figure out who I was. I don't think I figured that out so much later. But when I was able to adapt different styles to get them to listen, 
when I can uh -huh. talk about a little bit of violence, talk about a little bit of negative stuff, still influence, you know, infuse what what I what I did and who I am. I think that's when they started to take notice. But that wasn't until years later when I don't know, when I first got on, first was up there. It was one. Well, I will say Jay's cousin Beehive. Um, okay, that's how I got the internship. He saw me and my man. It was like, yo, roll with me. And then he started taking us places. But he still wanted us to kind of be. He wanted us to join a group called Criminal. Like. He wanted us to fit the mold, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which we could have done, but, you know, we we were kids, man, being ourselves. Yeah. Listen, I'm glad you took the, the, the route you did, bro. Yeah. And um, as doing that, because with you, what, and once again, me being a listener of your music and realizing how I've, I've been in from the beginning, well, like the first album, I hear you talk, that's what I love about you is the substance. You talk about what's around you, and you're giving people that that feel of like you know you're relatable mm. you know what i'm saying but yeah. do it in a, in a skill that the average person doesn't have you know what i'm saying I say so <laughs> <laughs> that's what i love about you bro like when i first like tapped in with you man it's like you i'm like yo I, like i said as long as i've been listening to you and i'm like this dude is so humble he knows he doesn't realize the effect that his music has had you know what i'm saying like, has let me not let me drop that d and change it has because to this day I still listen to your music now and you see me and my son you know yeah I appreciate that too. you know yeah. what I mean so he hears this music you know what I'm saying and he always asks me things about what I'm listening to you know yeah. so real quick shout out to everybody jump, jumping in yeah um, yes, yes. Substance, bless that. Substance, yes. my God peace you know Storm the Morning Show everybody's here you know we tapped in with Shot Stem Alive you just tuning in with us you know, yeah. with, like you said, still one of my favorite MCs, you know. So um, the, the, when we get to the first album, you know, mm -hmm. that deal, uh, which label was that deal with? Uh, the, my Soul the Key was on Chamber Music. Yeah, Chamber, yeah. all right. Chamber all Music right. E1, slash E1, yeah. Okay, okay. And um, do you remember when you first got that deal and remembering going through the process of recording that album? Yeah, because I was, you know, I was on Virgin in, in, in 2005, so I had these mainstream dreams and thought my life was going to change, and then the Death Jam wow. thing happened, and I got caught in between labels. So I, I spent, like, two years of, of kind of just in this dither and this sunken place of not knowing, you know, who I was, what I was going to do with my life. Mm -hmm. um, from, like, 07 to 09, I'm, like, just lost, you know what I'm saying? And then... Yeah, and, and my music reflected that because you can hear a lot of indecision. You can hear a lot of questioning right. the industry, questioning my mo my moves, questioning my team. Um, I heard it. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was sad. <laughs> but but hey, let me tell you something, man. Let me just one thing about me. I'm an open book. Those years, I was really going through things too myself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Seriously. So I don't know. I was attached to music. You say those sad music, maybe it was like that lets you know what I was going through because That's real. That's attached real. to you and Joe Budden really stuck mm -hmm. out that that time as well for me because yeah. of the things I was dealing with. You know, I, yeah. you know, and I'll get into that some other time down the line. Yeah. But once again, the impeccable art and the lyricism that you provided, you didn't always sound sad, bro. Like what I what I heard from you was somebody who's just giving you truth yeah. you understand what i'm saying yeah. and if if you if the truth hurts you then maybe it's a problem why why you might want to not listen to what shot saying because you yeah. just you know what i'm saying like i go to, go down the line in your music you know what i'm saying so yeah. even when you were the first time i heard astro kid i don't know if everybody you know yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah shout out to young Stroll, yeah. man yeah he was a kid, was a kid when i met about? him man he was he was 10 man my cousin dre um well actually one of my homegirls I went to school with is his aunt. So um, she brought him by to my, my cousin Dre to let him hear. Um, <laughs> and when he heard him, he called me. He was like, yo, you got to come to my house. <laughs> so I, mm -hmm. I went to his house and I heard him. I was like, wow. He was 10. And they had just did a song um, about, his, about his converse. And he did mm -hmm. the song right there. And from there, we just started, started rocking with him. You know, they, they started grooming him. Um, he wrote his own stuff. You know, his hands off. By the time I was working on My Soul to Keep, I mm -hmm. had... I had that intro in mind, so I enlisted right. him, you know, right away. And then we did the remix, and he, you know, he extended it and spit his verse on it. Um, but yeah, oh, oh, now I was, you know, that was around that time when I was, um, yeah. yeah, that deal came about because I was in between labels. I didn't, I never got dropped. Virgin just kind of sat me there. 
Uh -huh. um, and kind of, you know, waited it out. So the internet wasn't as powerful as it is now. So I didn't really have a That's voice. I didn't know it. what to do. Um, right. So around 08, we were putting out the mixtapes every month, me and Victorious. Um, okay. And that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just, I had a whole bunch of music I was sitting on. Shout out to Trey, what up? I had a bunch of music I was sitting on. So he started putting it together. And then we, we challenged ourselves to just release all of it. I, I thought I was going to retire. I was like, I'm not going to do nothing with any of this stuff. So let me just yeah. put it out. And it, it, it was it was draining after a while, but um, in '09 that's when uh, Chamber Music reached out and was like they wanted to do a um, you know an album. Yeah. So I had I had like I had mainstream music that I gave them, and they was like, we can't do nothing with this. Thank so, you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So I, um, you know, I, I dumped it down and kind of put together something um, that to me, when I listened to it, I was like, man, I was in such a a strange place. Because uh -huh. the music had a, a, a tempo to it that was a little bit solemn. The feel, um, everything I, I think I was going through in life was coming out through the music. So it was therapeutic, right. you know. And, and yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It, it was a, it was an interesting time. I'm, I'm glad I was able to to use music to get through that. And, and like I said, man, like like you know, honestly, the things I was going through was so real and like serious, and it's like. I, music was therapy for me. Yeah, you know, like I was, I was closed off at times, like you know, and that's what got me through. Like, and shout out to my man, Prince Amir. He put me on the last FM at that time, around that mm. time, which is how I got put on to your music. Oh you no! Know? Oh. And and the first song I heard from you was "It Could Have Been Me." You know, ah, yeah. You know, so the, the the way you delivered the, the first line, it just caught me. Truth be heard, if you think about it, you got to kind of count every blessing before you tune me out. I promise this is not dropping lessons. It's just, and then I just was like, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Yeah. It, I think that was on March on Washington. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and March on Washington was so important to bro. Yeah. You know, you and Tall Body, that joint, did, um, that could have been me. But to me, if, since we there on March on Washington, um, the joint, you and Sky Zoo. Mm hmm. Yeah. I got to pause because um, Black President. Black President, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. before we go into this, if anyone has never heard this song, Black President, when we finish this, please YouTube this song. Because at this time, this is when Barack was first becoming president. And it was cool to make a song about that, but nobody had the substance in it, the details in it that you delivered, bro. And I yeah, felt it like it was so unheard. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go back and shoot down anybody's music at that time because I'm not here to make enemies. However, there was songs being played about that time that just it didn't make sense. Yeah. I thought it was kindergartners making them songs for Barack, <laughs> you know? Nah, it was real. So, it was real. Oh, praying for you know, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like, I don't know if you realized the impact that joint had. Did, did you, when you was in the booth making these joints, like, with, I know where you were, you were at, but how did you how did you think it would be perceived like at that time? Because everybody was kind of on it. Did mm -hmm. you think it would be one that would be heard the way it needed to, or you didn't even care about that? No, nah, I never cared about that. It was at the time, you know, we had hip hop game as maybe an outlet, but I think mm -hmm. I think I had like this core fan base that I, I had gathered from like MySpace that was that was tuned yeah. in. So yeah. I was just thinking about them and the way I recorded. Man, I would do like seven to eight songs in a session, like literally. Mm. So I'll be back to back to back just doing songs. And there's no exaggeration. So I didn't have time to sit with one. Right. You know, I, yeah. I wouldn't really think too hard about one. Um, I, I knew that one was special because I wanted to talk about different things that people may not have thought about in terms of, mm. you know, Obama's election. And it was produced by the dude that did Black Republican for Nas and Jay. Yeah. So it was the same type yeah. vibe. Yeah. Wildfire, yeah. it was the same type vibe. And I wanted, I wanted to get Sky on it, um, you know, at that time, because I think I don't think I was um, I don't think I was registered to vote yet, and mm -hmm. my, my future wife made sure that that was gonna happen. Sky made sure that was gonna happen. That. Yeah, so uh, just imagine a kid that never voted, never thought that that was important, now is questioning his whole you know way of thinking, and then put it on a song. It was just right. I was like, yo, music is just, this. This is what it's for. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Yeah, it, it, it's not. I'm not worrying about who receives it, how many likes or views or links, anything like that. I just wanted to, you know, put it out, and I was, 
That was what was important. Yeah, man. Listen, definitely did your thing with that one. Now, when you said that you was with, uh, you was signed with uh, Chamber Music at, at one point, mm -hmm. and is that when you dropped to me? I think is one of the top five freestyles of all time. Is that right? Oh, and the, the um, <laughs> the one in the, I just in watched the, it with, with Jess right before too. I was like, listen, I told yeah. him, listen, this here is one of the craziest freestyles of all time. You know what I mean? So. I don't listen when I do them freestyle things, man. I never really think about them. I don't. I don't know how it's gonna come out. Um, mm -hmm. I just have verses, and I'm just like, you know, and and the ones I like, people don't like. The ones people, the ones I don't like, people love. I went on <laughs> BT uh, back room, thought I spazzed. Nobody cares, you know. I go do yeah. something with Homeboy Sandman and them, and I'm just, you know, doing something yeah. light, and everybody's like, this one's the one. So I don't. Maybe when I smile, people like it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, you know what it is to me, once again, shout out to everybody joining my bro, Hate Grams, one of my uh, partners from back in the day, shout out to Ghost Squad, you know. Yeah. Um, the thing with you is like, it's just, it was your delivery, your case. Okay. Like to me, it's like, you always come across with confidence in, in every time you spit, you know. So even when you're going through those things, when you go in front of that mic and you're delivering, yeah. it doesn't sound like it. Okay, you know? that's great. That's great. Now, once I start, you know, I'll become somebody else. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, nah. <laughs> like, like you said, one of my joints, like, not these fake MOPs. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like yeah, nah. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, listen, I go through, your, I got a best of shot playlist, bro. Like, no, I appreciate it because I don't remember none of that stuff. Like, I, I hear the rounds. I'm like, I, I, when I see them back, it's like, I'm clueless, you know? Right. right. I was writing so much back then. Mm -hmm. I, I, was, I was writing a lot. It was, um, that was part of my my day, you know. Music was was a part of my day to express. Um, right now, with, like when you like you say you was recording every day, like that, you was just locked in like that. That's when you was doing like the, the mixtapes every every month. Yeah, every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny because I see a lot of people remember them. Like people are in here, man. Like, like yeah. you, you gotta understand the following you have, bro. This is why I'm I'm so happy to have a platform where the people that I I love the music. I know the music that got me through. You know what I mean? People need to give these people their love and their salute. You know what I'm saying? And look how humble you are with this. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, but um, let's let's go to some of your uh, like the the, the uh, collaboration. You know, okay. You know, you you when you were on the joint, like I've heard some, like I got a lot of joints you collaborated on, and you always make sure you leave your mark. You know, do you are you are you an MC that? You going to go in there and do what you do anyway, or do you see who's on the lineup and be like, okay, this is where I'm going to go with this? How do you, how do you, uh, I'm not competitive on, on joints, if that makes sense. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm never thinking I'm going to kill somebody. Word. I just want to be remembered. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If I, if I get on a joint, I got to create moments. You know, yeah. I, I think about when I hear Andre 3000, who's, you know, probably my favorite rapper. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not on that level as far as being able to have my words translate, but I think about, you know, just trying to create moments. And, and when, I, when I'm in there, I want people to, you know, if they've never heard me, I always think about, they never heard me, never heard of me. Are they going to say, mm -hmm. yo, who's that guy? You know, right. that's, that's pretty much, that's why I came up with the name Stimuli to kind of get a reaction or response. So I was like, if I'm going to do it, that's the whole point. Because, you know, right. I'm, I'm like you, I'm a regular cat, so... I gotta, <laughs> I gotta nah, do something. Nah, man, listen. <laughs> even at my top, and shout out to my man, Hey Graham, even at my top, when I thought I could not be touched, I would knew that when I heard you, I was like, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yo, Sometimes listen, you listen. get reality checks, and it's okay, you man, know? Listen, listen, let's ask how did the um, Prince E collab happen. I, I wanted to get into that, too. That's a dope oh. question, for sure. Yeah, well, that's my that's my young boy, man. That's my man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was put on to him. I want, I want to say 2000, maybe 2009. Um, yeah, when I was out here in Atlanta, somebody sent me his stuff. You know, we, I reached out to him or we started talking, communicating. You know, I was, um, I want to say I was ahead a in the game maybe. Mm -hmm. And then we met and we talked for like hours. Like we sat in a room and just talked. I think I recorded some of it. And I was mm. like, like, who are you? Like this dude's mind was on another yeah. level. You know, he, he's yeah, yeah. It was it was, it was like, crazy. I didn't know how young he was. You know, I, I, I didn't know because yeah. he's like thirty something. He's like early thirties right now. 
Like, I didn't oh, know how, so yeah, young, I didn't know how young. Yeah. yeah, he was young, young, young. Like, and we did the he effortless joint. talking, too. Because, yeah. like, y'all, y'all sparred in some joints. And I was like, yo, he's, oh, yeah. he's oh, handling, yeah. like, his own, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did a couple of joints. We did the game. That was his joint. Um, yeah. Then we did effortless. Then we shot the video, like. And I knew I knew he was special when we shot that video because he was in Atlanta. I was we were both visiting Atlanta. I wasn't living here yet, and he was visiting from St. Louis. And he was like, "Yo, let's shoot the video." I was like, "How are we gonna shoot the video?" He was like, "I'm gonna find a director. I'm gonna get a location. I'm gonna get some money." And he found somebody that and that for like a, a couple of hundred dollars, like on whatever website. We shot the joint in two days, and it was crazy. It was mm. crazy. Dope energy. Like that's my man. Yeah. And now yeah, he's he out of here. Dope. <laughs> it was dope about him though too though because after like like even after that I was following him and he was always talking some knowledge man it's like oh, he, yeah. he was somebody that you could learn like I was learning I was like I was like yeah I just wanted to keep tapping in with him it was dope you know what yeah. I mean once again I was a link through you you know yeah yeah you know, yeah weatherman in the building Muff in the building word yeah. shout out to everybody joining we appreciate y'all here with the regular cat convo we are here with one of my favorite MCs I will keep reiterating that shots them a lot. Thank you for being here, man. Now, <laughs> somebody threw up a name, threw up a song title, you know, uh, you know, the one off Barrow Brothers, everybody loves Triangle Offense. I'm going to uh, tell you a funny story about that joint. But yeah. those collabs with you and Scott, like, I kind of skipped around, but how did you first get into, like, uh, how did you meet Scott and Tor and all that? Was it different times, different settings? Yeah, it was different times. The first time I met Scott, we probably got different stories. I don't know the first, first time. I know we was in the studio or something, like doing some type of freestyle or something when I met him. But I know when I got, when I got like one of his early mixtapes, um, you know, this is early 2000s. So, mm -hmm. you know, when I heard something, I was like, we all trying to break in the game. I heard something. I looked at my man. I was like, yo, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, to, listen to the tape of the car. I was like. So now, cause you know, you hear a lot of stuff around them times and, and I wasn't competitive, but I kept my ear to the street. Like when I first heard Graf, I was like, uh oh. Yeah. And then, you know, when I heard Sky, I was like, okay. And I knew he was young, um, uh -huh. you know, younger than me. So I was like, all right. And then, you know, we, we kept seeing each other on stages and stuff like that. We started doing joints. Um, I just embraced him. He had a, he had a real great spirit. It was, it was, Word. you know, it was nothing. It was love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, tour I met through my, my partner on No Bars Off, my man, Boardwalk Walk Brown. That was mm -hmm. like 99, 2000. I'm, I'm hanging out in Coney Island for bro day. Um, my man, my man, Wall Wall Brown was like, yo, this is my dude, Tor. He spit. I think at that time he was somewhat if, if affiliated with Rough Riders. He'll, he'll change that story. Yeah. <laughs> he walked up, chains on, stylist. Yo, what up? Gave me the real. It wasn't Hollywood. I'm not going to say it was Hollywood. But it was like a mover and shaker. Like, like I'm, in, I'm in his hood. I'm in Coney Island. My man right. telling him I'm nice. He telling me he nice. So he like, yo, who you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is <laughs> so good. Yeah, so that first meeting was like, you know, I'm I'm like, yo, what's going on? You know, kind of, it was kind of cool. But then we saw each other industry wise, and it was like a whole different thing. Like he was just his guard was down. You know, I heard right. his music. Um, we both in different places, uh -huh. and we both were, were trying to get in. I think he was more on the independent route. Cause he had right. he had put out um I think he was with Coalescence at one point, and then uh -huh. when he did the um did the album I, uh, I forgot the first was it was it Daily Conversation I think I I know I was on it and he had the right. show so we all we all had a, a union you know we were we were connected man it was it was okay. we were really tight at that time the only difference was I was you know I was trying to do the mainstream thing so right. my music and my path was a little different but I credit okay. Tor for opening his arms in '07 when I was hitting that wall. And I came to the A3C festival and Tor had independent merch and was introducing me to people and it was a whole nother world. You know, and I just was like, like, what is this life that y'all have that's Word. not mainstream where y'all can take control of your own destiny? It was mm -hmm. beautiful. And I was like, man, I gotta get some of this, man, because I know they would appreciate what I do. You know, Word. What I'm so yeah. And the thing is, you you have a fit, like I said, one thing they did was they, they catered to their fan base. You know your 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 steady base because, like you say, you had them from um, MySpace, you know. Yeah, yeah. It carried over for you, you know. Now, the did y'all immediately see the the, the connection when y'all recorded together? Yeah, it was it was there because we all we had a, a common you know a common bond. We all was about you know them bars. Like we wanted to we wanted to say something to to shake people up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I 
I feel like we could have did a better job at coming together, you know, but New York is just, it, it, was, it was divisive <laughs> at the time. It was, it, was, it was a divisive city. It was, it was yeah, you know, know, you got to get yours, you know what I'm saying? And then you had your crew and your camp and they got their crew and they came. I think Sky and Tor did a really good job with creating Val Brothers and, and having a presence together. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we all, and we were friends, so we all got together. It was all love and we, we would do shows and things like that. Um, yeah. But, you know, could have been better. Now, like to tap into that Barrel Brothers joint, man, because yeah. I, for one, and shout out to E Holla, shout hey. out to my, my tribe. Hey. Is here. Yes, I, for one, when I saw the playlist for Barrel Brothers and saw Triangle Offense, I don't know, I don't got that. I never had hops like that. I was a rim toucher, but I think I was able to dunk that day because <laughs> I was like, word, <laughs> like I was looking yeah. so forward to that, and the song did not disappoint. Um, oh, Jug, oh. Did y'all record together that, or was it like you picked your, your first name? Nah, man. It t- a tour just joined, so I can tell Shout the story. Shout out to He just got in here. He, t- he told me to save the story, I think. But I don't know what, are they doing a documentary or something? But, <laughs> ah, <laughs> but come on, tour. Nah, nah, but um, at the time, and, sh- and shout out to my young boy, Trey, who's in here, because I was working at North Springs High School as a substitute at that time uh-huh. out here in, in, um, in Georgia. Okay. So I was at the front desk filling in for the security officer. The security officer wasn't there. So this is, I never had a job in my life. This is like my first time humbling myself, figuring out, all right, I want to coach basketball. Right. I want to do some different things. I had stepped away from music. I was taking acting class. I was, I was, I didn't know who I was, right? <laughs> so right. I'm trying, to, trying find to find yourself it. again. Trying to find it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it texted me like, yo, we wrapping up the album. And I had been to a session in New York and I just sat in on a session. I thought they was done. I didn't even, you know, they knew I was, wasn't really in rap at that time. So they was like, yo, it wouldn't feel right if you're not on it. And I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. Mm. And he was like, um, you know, sending me a joint right then. But then he says, can you have it back by tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no pressure. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> Word. He's like, yeah, no pressure he mixed at all. In, he mixed in, I'm yo, my bad, but. Um, so I'm, I hit my engineer, AJ, I'm like, yo, tell him the whole day. I'm like, yo, Tor just said, blah, 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 can I get, can, he's like, yo, if you can get in here tonight, we can do it. Mm. So I'm sitting at the front desk. I'm like, all right, let's see what we got. <laughs> but then it wasn't. And I start crafting, man. I start crafting during the day. You wrote it on the spot? I, I wrote it at the school. Like, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I wrote it at the school. I just started you thinking, thinking of, that in school premises, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting in, sitting in the front, signing people in, um, coming up with verses, coming up with lines, and then got to the studio that night, and knocked it out. No one on earth yeah. is dope with me. See, my fools are bitten. I'm a sickness, sickness, smoke the Eve, move from no religion. Oh my yeah. god! Listen, I can spit that yeah. verse to you. you I, know what I, mean? I, but, I couldn't. So I'm. I'm I, all I know is the the in uh, the whale intestines. I know that one. I like jumping rope with whale intestines. I like that line. Yo, yeah. Oh yeah. That's probably the first time I came over. Ella Tessas, I was Jonah. Now, what, you, had, you feel my presence? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's so was... funny because I, was, I used to bang that song crazy, crazy. And one time I'm going to the store and it's just banging. And then I just had like a, a beer or something laying on, like, laying on my windshield. I just banging. <laughs> and I just felt like the beat was rocking with me. I was like, yo, you see me? Oh, yo, he got this beat banging. I'm like, yo, it was just so crazy. I don't know why I stuck out, but it was because the whale intestines ball was on when he just came out of nowhere. And I, why do I remember that? I can't tell you that. No. Nah, but I, I, I appreciated them reaching out because, you know, it made me feel, these are my guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was it was deeper than music. It wasn't like, yo, this dude will kill it. It was like, yo, even if he's not, you know, in rap right now or going hard right. with music, like, come on, man. Like, mm-hmm. do something on, on, on our joint. It wouldn't, it wouldn't feel right. So that, that was a real special, you know, a special request for me. Right. Uh, deep and shout to sky and so once again for that those my brothers too you know what i'm saying they know like all three of y'all like the triangle offense and um th- that song was just dope for me because like anytime i heard all three of y'all like i remember when y'all did the drugs for mr mecca flavor in your ear joint i was just yeah. watching that, that joint too you know yeah. you just look like you have fun in there man you know what i'm saying the video was fun video was fun i, yeah. I, I wasn't we, we never really like recreating stuff well, when we did the reasonable mm-hmm. doubt that was dope but Right. You know, we, we you know, we did the flavor. It was a favor. 
Yeah, I remember at the Barrel Brothers um, album release, I met Mr. Mech. He was backstage. He hosted the joint, and I asked yeah. him about the video. He told me how much slack he caught over that joint for man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we just gonna yeah. be that there. Yeah, talk and tell you. It was, but we have fun. We laugh. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, and like Tosa, you want to make the beat songs, the best songs of the best rappers, and they you guys definitely do that. Yo, you know what I'm saying? He's at Bamboozle. <laughs> man, listen, Tony, the yeah, that's... listen, thanks for joining, so I appreciate that. My brother Jay Gomes just joined in. Dope MC out of right here in my town, Waterbury, you know? Yeah. So salute to him being here. But um, let's get to uh, right now, man, like, I always like to ask the artists or anyone I'm on here about one of my favorite songs that they did. Okay. Now, it was hard for me to find one. I'm going to be real with you because, like, like I said, what you've done for me. So if I can give two, I'll be happy. But the first yeah. one I thought was just, like, amazing is I'll Be There. You know? Okay. Like, first of all, like, bro, can you, you who produced I'll Be There? Uh, I think, I want to say Victoria's did it. Uh, and, yeah, because it was right when we were doing um, My Soul to Keep in It. Mm -hmm. This is, mind you, I was doing no drums before a lot of people. Yes, I say yes. <laughs> I was going to yes. say that. On Hot in July, we, we did that a few times. Um, and I don't know if it was Victoria didn't know how to do drums or he just, <laughs> I don't know. He would find loops. Loops were dope. I'd be like, don't worry about it. This, I'll right. just rap to that. Like, and people, I remember we put it out online. People were like, yo, I was waiting for the drop. I was waiting for the drums. Mm -hmm. And I was like, eh, with my voice, it kind of works if, you know, yeah. I could just ride the music. Um, yeah, I, I like that joint, though, because um, it was different topics. I think I was, I was flowing a little bit. Um, was that one? I think Michael Jackson had just passed. Um, yeah. You, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the ball MJ too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I was I was a big fan, so that that one hit me. Um, and that's why, yeah, I, you know, you bringing up MJ earlier, I I knew you being a fan because of the way you said that. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I'll be there like Mike when he touched little kids. I ain't talking about molesting. He affected how they live. I love Billy Jean played the skate girl in the Wiz at one glove. Yeah, this girl, what the fly says? You know what I'm saying? But man, it's like, man, I, I said that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I got the scarecrow footage too. I'm gonna release that. <laughs> I got, you know, I got, like I got the footage. So writing that was that written? Um, did you take time in crafting that whole song, or was that no. all written in one spot? Mm -mm, no, that was, I, I don't. If I take more than ten minutes, man, I, I'll probably stop and just come away from it. Yeah, stuff like that. You, stuff like that. You could tell I was just. It just came out. You know what I mean? It, it just yeah. came out. Yeah, it was. It was like that. Like yeah. At that time, I was. I was in it. So a lot of times I was, when I was really, really writing, a lot of stuff was just coming out. I think, and that was a gift and curse with, with what I was doing back then, as opposed to the later stuff, you know, Lazarus and all of that stuff where I would take time, re-record things, um, only use four bar rhyme schemes where I was really meticulous. I think back then I just wanted to, to spit hard and, you know, say some cool stuff. Which is fine, you know. I think sure. we just we, we grow at different different stages of our career. So, yeah, that song was um I, I liked it. You know, I, I actually wanted to put it on my solo key, but it was too late. Um, but I, that was that was a dope joint. It's crazy because it's like sometimes I, when I find that song, I feel like I had that on my solo key, but then I ha I don't know how I got the song or what it was on, but I know I had. Yeah. It. I'm like even now when I was searching on certain things, I'm like, yo, I know I had this on that album. What so what what album was that actually on? I don't know. I think it was on. Um, I think it was on the. Uh, I don't know. No. It was something I dropped. Uh, it was that mixtape I did with with. Um, okay. I forgot because I know when I got that song. Let me tell you, man. It, it was like one of them joints that you, the, the subject matter that you touch on each joint was so fire, you know. Yeah. You know, and then um. Just, just, just the writing on the joint, man. You know, yeah, it just. I was there when he walked on the moon. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that now. I gotta go listen to that. that I, I heard, I heard Don playing it the other day, and I was like, man, I don't, I don't even know if I have it. Um, if you're not my friend now, you should try to be soon because I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. it's bro, and, yeah, and, and um, it's like it's just uh, the way you once again the um, we when you ended the way you ended the joint the the. the aggressiveness in the, in the bars, that was what I love. And plus, I've always been a fan of, to me, I, I the way I best describe it is when somebody's chasing down the track, mm. you know what I'm saying? So like up to Bo Beach and it's like, you taking, you, you chase the, you chase the joint down and manhandle yeah. it. That's what I guess. I can see that. 
I can see that. You know, yeah, it felt that way. Now, and then um, my other joint, man, that's it's, it's a lot more personal. You know, um, uh, the, on the garden. You know, mm. so that one because um, once again, when it's very rare that artists really did, everybody was guarded. You know, people are guarded, and then you know, in that one, you you. You let it all down, you know what I'm saying? And you did it a lot at that time as you were saying. Yeah. But you know, when you when you speak of, spoke about, you know, the situation like your mom and all of that, it hit home. It hit home. You know, yeah. so Yeah. What what did I talk did I talk about her in the car accident? Did I talk no, about you said um she was in the hospital. Oh, she was in the hospital, yeah. Well it was from the car accident. So yeah, yeah, okay. she, she broke her neck when I was four and I was in the car. So yeah, she and she got, you know, sciatica effects years later so she had ended up um around that time she was she was hospitalized and mm -hmm. yeah i just i remember yeah I, I talked about her wishing she could take away my monetary yeah pain, me wishing i could take away her physical pain yeah Man. that that was um yeah that's 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 real right there that was um right. that's where i was you know i was i felt unsung in terms of music but i felt gratitude for right. the life i had and I was yeah. I was trying to push the gratitude forward. So a lot of times when I'm doing this music, mm -hmm. I'm trying to lift up a certain a certain vibration. And I was right. trying to get gratitude, man. I was like, yo, this is the Garden of Eden. This is this is paradise. This is no matter what I've been through, this is this is good. And and mm -hmm. more good is coming. So I was trying to speak that into existence. I think I did a good job because at the time I was it was tough, man. It was it was like yeah. it was like I had this dream, right? I'm I'm a kid. Everything is going the way it's supposed to go. I get this record deal. I'm moving. I got people behind me. I'm doing shows. Like, it's momentum. It's momentum. And then the floor just falls out. And I'm like, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, could, I, right. couldn't, I couldn't grasp it. I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. And as I'm continuously recording, I'm continuously putting out music, nothing is sticking. You know, I'm watching people kind of go by me. I'm watching the, the, the Joe Ortiz's and the Joe Buttons and even people like like Mano and Pat, like we were all together and they, they're mm -hmm. still moving. They found their niche, they found their lane. And I'm sitting here like, what, what was I supposed to be doing again? Like, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So around that time is, is where the garden came out. That's, that's me saying, uh, and my wife named the project. She was like, you know, unsung. And then I, I thought about the Garden of Eden as that, you know, just being in a place where Things are great, but you don't see it. You know, and right. I was like, how many other people out there may be going through something where, you know, you got some issues, but somebody has it worse. Somebody always has it worse, right? Yes, yes. You know, so I try to put that in a song and put that on a record, you know, and I just want right. to just give that you energy. You said that. Yeah. yeah. And like for me, because one of the things is like sometimes people don't appreciate things that they have. Like right. um, my mom passed away the day before 9-11. Camp, you wow. know, so when I hear people like hating their mom, you know, listen, I'm like, yo, bro, you got to hit. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. People don't appreciate when they have, you know what I'm saying? So when I heard that song, it's just like, you know, anything like that's that I could hear is from the heart, especially from the artist. I, I, I feel it, you know, and I feel it more, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, that was that was that was them times, man. That was that was definitely it. It got me here, you know. I'm, I'm thankful yeah. for it. Yeah, absolutely, for it. man. Now, yeah. you know, you said it like you had took a step away from from rap, and mm -hmm. I remember when you first was saying you were doing that, and I was just like, oh no, like oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I remember, I, like when I first had communication with you, I think I reposted something. And I was like, you know, I was frustrated with rap, and but he's he's back. And I think when you first got with ten minutes late. Yeah, 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 the last was joint, yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, nah, he was like, nah, I just took a step back and all that. I was like, yo, you responded, I was like, word. And then, you know, when I got the album, you, you, you sent me an email, you thanked me, and I was like, that was dope, you know? Then we just connected through, mm -hmm. through this mutual thing. And yeah. it's funny, DJ said it earlier, he and I actually met in, um, like, a, one of your, something you were doing, you know what word. I mean? That's how he and I met through you. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. so... You know, the, the connection is always there. You know, the avid both had a straight love for your music. He was like, somebody listens to Shasta Lava's last me. I was like, yo, 
<laughs> Listen, I go bar for bar. You know what I'm saying? That's so that, that's so dope, man. Because yeah, I don't see. I don't be thinking about you know that type of stuff. I just a lot of times I'm just venting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's really you know how it comes out. So I, I'm I'm appreciative. So people reach out to me like I I reach right back out because yeah. that's what it's about. You know, that's really Word. what it's about. But see, sometimes people eat, they don't realize that, you know. And one of the things that I, I respect and love about you, bro, is because when you took a step back from music, what you decided to do at that time. Like you oh, said, yeah. you putting that time in, and you were teaching, coaching, and it's like, you know, that's beautiful. I was just telling my son, I was like, he, one of the best things that shots him a lot did may not have even been one of the songs I love. It's when you was making sure that these kids got through school. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's insane. That's it. Like it changed my life. You know, I had to go I had to go inward and remove the ego, then I had to go outward and give. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I was mm -hmm. I was just trying to, you know, I had this this idea of who I thought stimuli was, right? But right. the the Sherrod person, I didn't really dig cuz I didn't know him. I ain't I hadn't introduced myself to Sherrod in years. I hadn't I hadn't gotten in touch with him, so how can I expect to have a fruitful life? How can I expect someone to marry me? How can I expect to raise a family? You know what I'm saying? Without knowing, you know, who I am. So I had to take that time and, and, and get it right. And now, now I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Now, <laughs> now when I'm spitting, now when I did the joint with my man, um, Barbera, the Barbera joint and the Lazarus, you know, it, it came out to a way that I could hold my head high because I can, I can, you know, yes. respect what I'm saying. And uh -huh. I, I think I'm getting better. Although I've stepped away from writing every day, I still feel like I'm getting better. Here's the thing, though. You step away, you, it, it's literally like riding a bike for you. And shout out to Praise for jumping in here, one of my brothers, too, man. Oh, you know, Praise. And shout out to Rockness. Rock. Rock. Listen, salute. <laughs> Thank you for my being brother. here, Rock. You know what I'm saying? My like, brother. yes, a huge fan here. You already know, yes, man. Yes, yes, you know? yes. So, yes. Uh, the, the steps with the, um, with, you know, the teaching and everything, not only that, you know, but the book, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. get into that. I'm trying to touch everything because, you know, I, I want to make sure everybody knows how well-rounded you are. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not just when he's going to see get behind the mic and get busy. He's, a, yeah. like, like Tor said, a dope human being, man. You know, yeah. and can you tell us about the book again, like, for those who didn't know or wasn't aware of it? Yeah, so the book, Strong Words for the Week, I, I started constructing it probably around, probably around 2012 when I was at my lowest, um, I started writing verses as, as like therapy, you know, and they were meant to inspire. They were meant to kind of get me through the times. Um, so I started holding on to them. And then when, when the pandemic hit, I added some more. And what I wanted to do was create strong words for the week where every week you get a verse that you can kind of go to. Then mm -hmm. I have action items. Then I have kind of antidote breaking down where I was when I created the stuff. Right. And, you know, how I got to it. So I talk about prayer. I talk about gratitude. I talk about my family. I talk about time over money. Um, mm -hmm. I talk about procrastination. I talk about different things that, you know, I, I just touch on that, that helped me get through. Because once I realized, once I read it back, I was like, man, this is why I'm alive. Because right. I was feeling, <laughs> I was feeling so lost and so down at one point. You know, the words, being able to journal helped me out. So mm -hmm. when I, when I wrote it, I was like, I ain't expecting to sell a million units to be the best seller. I'm expecting one person, one person to hit me and be like, yo, that helped. And, and you got that's more than that. That's all and I, I, I And the thing is, I, and that's the great thing about it, because once again, you just, you did, the reasons you're doing it for are yeah. great. And you got more than that one person that I reached out to you. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope yeah people, about, people reached you know? out, man. You know, it was, just, it was just a blessing to be able to, to put something out like that and to be able to write it during the pandemic with the fam home. Right. And, you know, that was that was a blessing. So it's, it's it's doing well. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, it, it, was a, it, was, it was needed because, you know, during the pandemic, everyone was looking for something. And that's how I met a lot of people in the, once again, the tribe through my brother Torre. Shout out to him. Yeah. You know, putting that together. And, yeah, you know, yeah. It allowed people to really just tap in more as well for those who wanted mm -hmm. to, you know. And I don't know if Rock is still in here, but we we was in a movie. I was just talking about this movie that we was we was in um, called "Gotta Get Mine." We we shot an independent film back in two thousand seven, and the joint uh, never came out. And me and my man, uh, my, my man G Steel, was just talking about it today. 
Because I was like, we got to get that footage and turn it into a web series or something. We Listen, was, yeah. you can still pop, man. You know we'll make yeah. that happen. Like, you'll make that happen, bro. Not we. you but, get that popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's know? my man, so, though. Now, now, once again, I want to go into, like you were saying now, your partner, you know, Boardwalk. You know, shout out to, to him. Talk about yeah. what you're doing now with the No Bars Off. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the set right now, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I came up with this idea. I came up with the idea a while back, but I I was I didn't know how I wanted to do it, right? I had I would listen to songs sometimes and I had a playlist actually of my favorite verses. And I was mm-hmm. like, man, I need to I need to figure out a way to 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 highlight some of these verses or break some of this stuff down. So um I called my man one day, I was like, yo, I got this idea. I wanted I want to sit in front of a camera and break down some verses. And he was like, mm-hmm. let's do it. And this is stuff that we had already done. Like he and I, and, and this is, you know, Tori's man, you know, my man from college, you know, known him for 25 years. So we would be in the dorm room doing this same thing. We would listen to Reason Without from beginning to end and stop, like you heard what he said there. And we would analyze it as if cameras were on us, you know, back, yeah. in, back in like late 90s. So this is something we've always done. Like we would drive, right. listen to stuff, break it down. Oh, you heard what he said, whatever, whatever. So we wanted to do that on camera. and hard to earn and inspired us as well because these are my two brothers doing it on, in a big way reviewing joints and we you know ours is different too. yeah Tori and Bonsu shout out to, to Tori and Bonsu on hard to earn and it just gave us the courage of like you know what Let, let's let's do it these are our brothers let's do something affiliated you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. let's collab you know watching what you're doing I'm like man it, it, now's the time to kind of you know do something a different type of content that that hasn't been out that I think Yes. People that like raps or like bars will will get. So it's 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 been fun, man. We we come down. It's in my basement. We come down here, drinks pour. You know, we do a little. Mm. Just turn the camera on. Talk about some of my favorite verses. Listen, I'll be tapped in hardcore, bro. And I be I'm the one that like when I was talking about the cadence. It was a joint. I was like, listen, do you think he was tapped in? Was he um, punched in and all that? You was like, yo, y'all might add that to the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's a, that's a big deal because I've been around a lot of a lot of rappers that they they punch in. It's no big, you know. It's no, nah, you do what you uh, do. But right. that's definitely something to something to talk about. So, nah, yeah. I, I I love it, man. I think I think it's you know we're in the infant stages. You know, we we just starting, but it's it's fun and it's it's limitless. Like we we had to meet yeah. with with hard to earn. We like yo, what we can do together and where this could go. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yo, shout out to uh, once again, hard to earn this Torre and Bonsu show where they do recaps of dope um anniversary albums. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you know, it's just dope how you know once again y'all all came up together anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout yep. out to my brother Cool B, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool B is we got a funny story we'll tell about him some other time with him. You know, <laughs> he produced one of my first tracks, you know what I'm saying? Real wow. talk. You know? okay. Or, okay. We just connected once again. It's just so funny. I knew this dude since the 90s, and then we lost connection, and we find ourselves again once again through Torre. You know what I'm saying? That's in the Torre chat room, bro. That's you know dope, what I'm man. saying? That's but um, the no bars off, though, what I love about it is, like you said, how y'all start joints, y'all break them down. Because like you said, it's something that if you're into hip hop, like almost everybody jumps in here. If you're into yeah. uh, hip hop, you know what I mean? You, you've done that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And on top of that, hearing it for me, hearing it from who I see as an impeccable lyricist, you know what I'm saying? You hear and you break them down, and you and Boardwalk, y'all, y'all bounce it off each other well. And when y'all just I'm doing the same thing. Like, yo, <laughs> like, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I, I want people to feel like, you know, they're a part of it, you know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's dope, man. It's fun. I, I just feel like it's something that, that's missing, something something we can add to the game. Um, mm-hmm. and, and, and what I love about it the most, you know, from the outside looking in, is that we're saluting. You know, it's it's really no right. really no critiquing. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, it's it's great and, salute. And here's the thing too for y'all who hasn't tapped in yet. Don't think Shy just going to the most under of the underground and scenes. Like no, uh, you shut the way you broke down the Drake joint. Who I was in there, I was like, yo, yes, they all got busy on that joint. It's yeah. the truth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not you. You're not stuck in one. You know, if the bars are fire, the bars are fire, and you break them down. Yeah, it don't matter. It could be little baby, big baby, you know, <laughs> the baby, anybody. Yeah. I don't, yeah, alien baby. I don't, I don't know some yeah. of them, but they I got alien bars. If somebody send me something and it's it's fire, I don't I, listen. You could be on no bars off. 
Yeah, you broke down the Drake 3000 joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, that was fun. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. Let, let everybody know when you're doing that so they can tap in. Because we're talking about it now. They're going to want to be, they want, they're going to yeah, want to yeah. well, well, the YouTube is No Balls Off Show. Um, well, yeah, No Balls Off Show. The IG is No Balls Off Show. Um, we, we do the lives probably, you know, once in a while on Friday night. So, you know, just follow us. Um, mm -hmm. Follow the journey, man. It's it's real early, but yeah, you you gonna nah. be my friend. You gonna <laughs> <laughs> listen now? You you, you foresaw this, bro. Yo, be my this. be my friend now. I got yeah. I got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> listen, and, and it's dope because um, what I wanted to one of the great things is um, starting off from the beginning, you know, and I, not to keep going back to to this dude, but real shit like. Torre, like, he gave me the inspiration and everything to, to do this as well. So it's like, he's, he's, like, I was so grateful to have him on last week and tell him how innovative he is. Oh, yeah. The great person he is. So, like, all of us, like, kind of spawned from, from that, and it's just dope. Because yeah. I would have never thought I would have a platform where, like, shout out to my man that, sh um, I can't even say his name, I always mess it up, but he's, I got people from South Africa to check in regularly. I see, I see, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm a regular cat, and I love yeah. it. But you know what it is, doing something you love. I met some great people. Shout out to the Ghost, Ghost Squad, True Words. Yeah, what up? Yeah, George Word. I get to have conversations with my favorite MCs that I that I always and have and and ask them questions that were always in my mind, and people that you know what I mean. That to me is a gratification. You know what I mean? And I love yeah. that. It's no. a, listen, I salute my friends. I support my friends. We can mention Tory name a million times. I don't care. Like, sure. we salute our peoples, man. While they here, yeah. we salute. We show yeah, love. All I, day. I, that, yeah. You know, and, and one thing I wanted to bring up, too, and, you know, everybody knows about, you know, we're building this station, Regular Cat Radio. You know, we're adding more content. And I'm so happy to announce, bro, that the – the uh the tapings of No Bars Off, if you missed them, we will be airing those on 7 p.m. on Mondays. Nice. So Thank if you, you miss them, yeah, and you're driving, throwing regular cat radio on our heart, if you did 7 p.m. Mondays, you're catching the replays of the No Bars Off. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, no, Thank love. You, we we don't go back. Well, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. No, I mean, nah, nah, but listen, you beautiful. hooked me up with Don. Yeah. Don is the website. Website is crazy. Noballsoff.com. I mean, it's it's early, but you know, just to, to feel that love, man. Like mm -hmm. blessings, blessings. Listen, it's dope for me, man. I'm just so happy. Like I said, you're you're one of those favorite, my favorite MCs. There's no doubt about it. And the reason I knew that you wanted to get more time before you came on here, but yeah. the reason why I reached out again. But now because it was special to me because tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, you know, so, love, so, love, so for love. me, it was important love. to have somebody that I really know was yeah. like, like I tell you, bro, real talk, your music got me through things, man. Wow. I was able to, and then when it comes to just you being a dope MC, every time I throw your music down, you know, like you showing and proving, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. This is a birthday gift that I, I set up for myself, man. Oh man, you know, blessings, blessings. It was a secret. You know, I didn't tell you that. I wasn't yeah, no question. Nah, nah, that's that's crazy though. Happy born, man. Happy born. Yeah, Blue. thank I'm, you, I'm, man. I'm happy to be a part of this this gift, man. Listen, word, word man. And um, I just want to thank you, bro. And look, you, well, well, next time y'all y'all get together, man, please let me know when you want to get this going again, bro. Yes, yes, um, definitely, definitely. No, I, I want to thank you for your time tonight. Once again, y'all, shot Stemla. He has the No Bars Off right now. Tune in with him and Ball Walk. You can definitely check the YouTube out. Also, if you go to regular cat, the regularcatcombo.com website, we got the link there for No Bars Off, everything. Also, yes. just go right to their website, No Bars Off. Join us fire. Shout out to our boy DJ. Keeps us going. Yes, he does. Shout out. I had so much <laughs> To the ass man, I know your time is limited, bro. No, nah, no, nah, we we gotta do it again. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, cause I got yes. more coming. I got documentary. I got TV shows. I got I got a whole bunch of stuff popping. So yeah, thank you. Know, I gotta you. come back, man. I gotta come back. Listen, and that's a promise because, like I said, it's a, it's a um, it's just a, a I'm just so thankful for this to have this relationship where I can say I have I I can work and do things with one of my favorite MCs, man. So thank you for that, bro. Man, appreciate it. You know? Appreciate it. Tell your son I said what up, man. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you. You're up there, like, I hear him banging out on UFC right now, you know? I got, I got six and two up there doing the same <laughs> craziness. Yeah, but yes. salute, man. Yo, they jump shots is nice, too, bro. I mean, you know, try and get them right early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing with him, too, man. So, we're, we're, we're going to talk about that, too, man. There's so many yeah, things to get with a well-rounded brother. There's so many conversations that can be had, you know? Yes, and salute yes. to everybody giving the flowers to my brother, shots them a lot. Oh, man, you appreciate, have it. It. appreciate Throw them it. up, thank man, you, because... B. It's important that he sees that because, like I said, he's not only just a dope MC, but this is a dope human being. And this time is given not to just his family, but to others, bro. And he, you know what I mean? So that's 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 what makes you a legend. You know what I'm saying? Man, I appreciate so, it, man. I appreciate it. Salute to that, bro. We'll thank be talking you, this you. soon, man. All right, Peace, man. Thank, thank you, bro. Word. Listen, everybody, once again, thank y'all for joining us, man. That was my brother, Shah Stimuli. If you've been rocking with me, like I said, since 07, you heard me banging some, some Stimuli music. You hear me rocking his play, playlist I put together. You know what I'm saying? There's so much that this brother has done, you know what I'm saying, and is doing currently. I wanted to make sure that it was touched on, that everybody knew that, because, you know, for me, like, this is what keeps the, the culture going. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we got the... Uh, Website, I'm so happy about the Regular Cat Convo, pardon me, the uh, Regular Cat Convo website. <coughs> Excuse me. Our Heart Radio, Regular Cat Radio is on there. What's important and what's so great, I wanted to be able to give you some updates on the station. So we're building the station, Regular Cat Radio. Thanks, D. I appreciate y'all. True word from Mangans. What we have on the station, we added some content. So. What we're going to be doing is we have different uh, things added on. Like, for example, if you tune in to Regular Cat Radio through iHeart at any time and tune in on Mondays, we have our good friends, the Stoner Morning Show. S salute to them. They do a dope morning show Saturday mornings. And what we do is we air this. There are episodes. We do those on Mondays. We'll be airing those at noon. On Tuesdays, we got our brothers in arms and podcast arms, Tissue and the Tape. We are re-airing all their episodes Tuesdays at 7 o'clock, all right? What we're going to be doing on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. is re-airing all the previous regular Cat Convo episodes. So, for example, tonight, 9 p.m., we will catch the episode, the conversation with Torre and myself, my good brother Torre. Then what we'll be doing is re-airing tonight's episode on the station at 8 a.m. So in the mornings, we'll have that as well. What is also dope is my good friend, Bezo. Bezo, he's co-founder of Page Turn Entertainment. He does great interviews with, just like this for the culture, with uh, everyone from boxers to artists and everyone. We'll be having his interviews at 7 p.m. on Thursday nights as well. So we're adding content. Also, we're adding some dope DJs that's going to be having some dope playlists on. So we're going to keep y'all rocking. You know, on top of that, we got 24-7 dope hip-hop from everyone. So people you may not have heard, check them out. DJ is Adam and he wants to make sure y'all know there's dope music being put out every day. Once again, shout out to the Ghost Squad. They got joints jumping. Shout out to my girl A Block, Chef Tariq. Thanks for joining us there. King, <clears throat> King Virtue, salute my guy. Listen, everybody here, one thing about me is I love the network, man. You know, if you know me, I'm a very social person. It was just what I started this. You know, it's so dope when people that you work with or people that's, that respect what you do and want to work with you and, and just work with you for who you are. I love that, and I love that. And that goes for everybody that's, that I've worked with. Thank you to everyone that's been a guest on here. Shout out to Ghost Squad. Shout out to my tribe. And once again, Ghost Squad, if y'all don't know about my boy Chef Tariq, on Sundays, 11, 11 a.m., tune in to Chef Tariq. He chefs it up. Dope music, dope DJs every week. My God, so that's Sundays. You know what I'm saying? Sundays, if you ain't tuning in with us, tune in to my man Chef Tweak at 11 a.m. because that's where you'll find me. All right, so salute. Salute to my brother E. Holla. Shout out to everybody for joining us, man. This is the Regular Cat Convo. I got a dope one for y'all next week as well. Like I said, tomorrow's my birthday. Shots to Milan. Thank you once again for being here tonight. It meant so much to me. You know what I'm saying? You took your time, bro. I appreciate that. Shout out to everybody that keeps checking in. The support is real. It's dope. 
and I appreciate that. That's why I make sure I give it back to everyone. Once again, y'all got some dope music that's out there as well. Holler at me. Let me know because the station is always taking fire music. A Block, I will tune in with you because you got some fire people out there in Rhode Island. I love to get in touch with. We need their music on here as well. Good looking guns. I appreciate that. But for now, I'm going to tune out. Y'all might see me in some, some posts. You know, I lay low on my birthday, bro. I'm not one of those big. Go out, have a celebrate. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'll be 45 years young. I'm blessed to see it. You know, I wear my age on my sleeve. And because that's what allowed me to get where I am. You know, that's why I was able to see and hear the hip hop birth and love it and fall in love with it. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so this Sunday, live at Making Strides for Breast Cancer Walk. Miss A, a Block, I'm going to holler at you, man, because um, I'll make sure whatever I can do to help get that word out there. Let me know. Cool B, my bro. We're going to holler, man, because you're going to be up here, man. We're going we gonna to have a dope conversation for everybody. Talk about how we got together, you know? But once again, thank you, everybody that joins us regularly. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my Ghost Squad, Tissue on the Tape. Shout out to Boardwalk Brown. Shout out to Stimula for allowing us to have No Bars Off Ed on the station as well. And the station is just growing. So like you said, if you're not my friend now, you should want to be soon. Because we all going to be there. The salute. Thank y'all, man. My cousin joins me as I'm about to tune out. Salute, cuz. I'll holler at you in a second, all right? Everybody be safe and enjoy your week. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a safe birthday week. I always do. And thanks for y'all joining us, man. Peace.